Hello, hello everybody, it's here. Bruce. Today we have this Galaxy by Lasco box stand from 1990. This has a polarized cord, which I'll show that to you because I'm not sure to plug on these fan videos in a while. A little dirty. The grills on this fan are in okay condition. Actually pretty good. There's only, each side is only missing one slat. This one, it's the bottom corner, and then the one on the back is in right there. This features the plastic motor. Um, this thing originally had the regular uh, metal uh, Marco motor in it, which I believe 1990 was the first year that the Alaska started using those motors in their fans, but um, that motor had a bad winding. I didn't see a thermal fuse on there or any, anywhere, so it was definitely on the thermal fuse. Um, but, so there's that. It's missing the handle, but I can still pick it up like this. And I personally think even with these things missing your handle, I still think the provisions for the slot where the handle one still looks good. This has the wavy Galaxy logo and the newer style hub with the one hole cut in it for ventilation. Um, when I put this motor in here, I forgot to oil it, so I'll probably oil it in the future. So here's low speed. I'm sorry if you can't hear it, there's dogs in here, but I'll get you start up sound shortly. It's low. Pretty silent on low. It's medium. Does ramp up in speed and you can feel a bit more air from it. Uh, this thing does need some thrust washers, but I don't have any at the moment, so it does have a lot of plate and shaft. And I actually, if I tilt it back, so I'm doing it now. If I tilt it back, the blade comes in contact with the motor sometimes. And here's my speed. Like all of these Alaskas are pretty powerful. Um, I'm going to do comparison against this to Alaska 223 or 200i. I actually can't one to be using the up first. I don't know less folks, you know, whatever that means. Pretty short sure it's been down because it needs oil. Let's get you out of the tripod. Here's the control plate. The sticker's a little bit bad. Sadly, the frame on this fan is in really horrible condition. It is covered in rust. Peanut? Peanut? This is Peanuts fan. More rust. A lot of surface rust. There's more rust on the bottom of the case, but this fan is probably gonna, kept, gonna be kept in my basement probably where I'll get even more rust. This side is not that bad. We have some rust going on here. Tip it down on its back. See, plastic motor. Really horrible rust. This was, uh, I found this one in a dumpster. I've always wanted one of these 90s galaxies. Here's your information. It's from Focus. Actually, no, 1993 for 94, so it's a 93 for 94 model. So this was actually the last year of the straight corners, and then they went to the ones after that. They had rounded corners like this, and then they had the logo up here. It would say, you know, though it's like Galaxy or Galaxy of Alaska, depending on how old they are. A lot like the one that's at my church, which I may make a video of that one again. Really nice fan. I love this thing a lot. And then now we'll do the startup sounds. Here's low. Apparently this motor doesn't have startup sounds. And high speed. So I guess this fan does not have startup sounds. So thank you very much for watching Keep the Breeze.